three minutes, man. I know, I can't believe this. Get your this. fucking act together. Seriously, enough of these kiddie jokes, man. I know, I'm Grow trying to put these jokes. some fucking balls, I, put them together, one after the other. I'm just a Show little... Some, I'm a little nervous, is the thing. Fuck, nervous, man. No, really You've already no. been up there. You've done the hard part. Now just unleash on them, man. You've got something good here. I don't think I can do it. Why not? No, I don't think I'm going to do it. You can do it, man. It's right like there. If I want to drag you, you're going to go there. But we never did those father and son things, you know, like watching 007 movies together. No, I truly never did bond with my father. <laughs> <laughs> the best things about going out with your girlfriend long enough is that she, after a while, she forgets you couldn't get an erection for the first two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you eating homeless people's food? <laughs> while watching them fight. <laughs> I said, no, 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 it's not, it's not what you think. I was just holding it for a guy while he punched that other guy in the face. <laughs> That's why I wanted to do I wanted to be a comedy filmmaker, so I thought, wow, a lot of people I like have done stand-up. Larry David, Woody Allen, people like that. So I was like, maybe I should just give it a go. That was it. So basically, you love Jews, is what you're saying. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very much so. I love Jews. I don't, I don't want to be a comedian. It's not my job. So for me, I've got nothing to lose. If I'm shit, the, there's, yeah, the, there's nothing terrible that could happen as a result of that. Can you tell me about, do you remember your first time you, did, you went up? Of course. And how did that go and what were you thinking? It went well. I was super nervous. I was really, really nervous. My first gig, I was shaking, and even now, I'm 200 gig in it, and I still shake. Yeah. Because like, every time I go on stage, for me, it's like, it's like the, the Oscars. I have problems just like emotionally opening up to people, talking okay. about how I feel. Like, I always very sarcastic about that. Are you going to approach stand-up as some form of like therapy? Or? I think that's kind of what I'm trying to do, because once, if I think if I can actually get up and do this and prove yeah. to myself, that I can have, you know, do it successfully and at least get a couple laughs and get through a set. Yeah. I'll be a lot more confident about just me in everyday life. A therapist would probably be better than Stana. Oh, come on, you're telling <laughs> me I need therapy now. Well, we all need therapy, I think. I've, I've been in America to see open mics all the time. My brother's always pushing me, go up and do it, but I never had the courage to go up and, you know, do uh... open mic. And, if I was your director, I would like you to concentrate on yourself. Like, what is your taboo about yourself? Have you got a taboo? Do you think you're ugly in something? Because like a lot of people, me, me first, a lot of people go on self-deprecation. Yeah. So, can, are you able to take the piece about yourself? At the end of the day, if, if you are really open-minded, you don't have no taboos. You seem so nervous. Yeah, I know. That's what I need to get over, yeah. You seem terrified. Yeah. You're too much in your head. Yeah. You should uh, You're get right. out of your head. Do you have any advice? About getting over the fear. You just have to do it. You just have to go up and do it. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, you just have to go up and do it. Yeah. With, with writing jokes, what you think is funny. Do you know how to write a joke? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you can, you can try and read about like joke formulas and stuff. And yeah. then, then just write some standard things just to get your head going. But before booking a gig, please start writing something down. I think I'm the type of person who will actually sit though and be like, okay, now it's time to come up with something funny and write. What? Yeah. Yeah, she's just filming us two. Yeah. Nothing else, nothing else. No, 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 I'm only. Do you have a five minute set? No, I just got a few jokes and then a bunch of ideas. Yeah. Why don't you have a, why don't you have a five minute set? At least you're gonna go home. You're gonna write a five minute set. It's hard, man. Cause it's all it's a punchline. It's hard to come up with. I know the ideas and the setups, but then to come up with your punchlines is hard. All right. Plus you have to have like segues and stuff. You know. So I was talking to my girlfriend. She was saying you're pretty brave for doing stand up comedy. You know. Hmm. Uh, She's just being so, nice. Yeah, yeah, I know. Then uh, she had to hang up the phone and go back to killing reindeers. Yeah. Or something. Okay. I don't know. That's killing reindeers. Yeah, but it's, it's all about how I say it. 
Uh, there is something there. There is something there. It's just okay, okay, okay. And I want to say something about how it's different here. I don't know why uh, British are so open. They don't have any urinal walls. Okay. In America, we like to have our privacy, and then we get pee shy. And, uh, okay. I think we're going to be self-defeating. Talk about how men are just pigs. Uh -huh. Not me. Obviously, but obviously, I'm just talking about pigs. I'm tell a story about why I'm a pig. You know? Well, okay, I mean, that's been done. Now i got to make my new password. I'm like, what's the one thing yeah. she's never going to think about? I have yeah. to think about it. So it's like, well, obviously, my penis. I can't wait for the lab. That's not, that shouldn't be the punchline. Because obviously she's thinking about your penis. Otherwise, why does she care so much that she's looking at your ex-girlfriends and that? Because she cares about your penis. Well, that's, that's a good punchline to lead into the urinal joke. Allow your penis for that for that point. Think of something else and then bring in the penis later for the urinal joke. Or for the choking, or for the choking joke. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. That's a good joke. Yeah. Girls love to choke up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Mm. No. Yeah. Have some of this in it. Have one of these. All right. How about Hitler in the cafe saying, I ordered a glass of juice, not yeah. a gas of juice? Yeah. Okay. I think that's all. That would be hilarious if you use that. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. And you can, you can even say, you know, my girlfriend told me if all else fails, use this joke. It always works. Yeah. Shot, so I'm like, okay, oh, fuck, this sucks. Man. I can't actually say this. Like, I can write it, but I can't say it. Piss the bed and feel like a kid again and wake up in the morning to my girlfriend slapping me. This is hard. I sound like an idiot. You. Oh, I can't even say this, man. Writing is easy. Fucking saying it sucks. <laughs> I promise I wasn't thinking about my penis. Oh, fuck that. I have drive. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm American, if you can't tell. It's my first time standing up in front of an audience. So um, I'm asking everybody, uh, give me some tips. You know, I'm going to do stand-up. Uh, what should I do? Should I need, I need to be a character? You know, what should I do? They say, just be yourself, you know. It's cool, just be yourself. But um, I don't have any beer, or uh, I don't have a bucket of chicken, or a mirror to stare at myself, so... <laughs> You know, I'll make the best of it. I'll make the best of it. <laughs> so uh, I was a chef in Florida before I moved here, and uh, chefs get fucking lots of pussy. You know. <laughs> chefs get pussy. You know what I mean? Uh, one night I'm working a shift. This girl's like, "Yeah, take me out on a date." And I'm like, uh, "I'll do something better. You know, I'll go to the market before I go home. You come over, I'll cook you something fresh." You know. So uh, um, I go home. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't want to. Come on, dude. come on, my sister. I can't believe you why did I do this. It's good, it's good. Come on. So, uh, uh, she gets here, and before I know, you know, she's in my kitchen, and it's fucking American girls. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I had to get out of there, but uh, she, uh, <laughs> she's, she, before I know, she's down on her knees, and I don't know what porn has done to these American girls' brains. I would never, never try to raise a daughter there. I'm glad I moved out of the country. <laughs> she's, literally choking on my cock, you know, like, <laughs> like porn has just brain <laughs> I don't know, women, I don't know if you think guys like this, uh, maybe I'm not speaking for all guys, but uh, it's pretty painful to watch for one thing, you know, <laughs> it's pretty disgusting to see, that's not hot, that doesn't turn me on, and it doesn't feel very good, you know, it's like worse than anal sex, so, <laughs> anyway, come on, man, come on, man, no, yeah, so there's a there's another American in my class. Uh, his name's Krishnaraj. Yeah. Uh, so. 
I mean, I'll, you, yeah. So, there's no, there's no real punchline to that. Either. So, but uh, so let's see, what's what's next? I'm closing my eyes. I'm getting into power mode now. I'm like, okay, it's time to relax. Ah! Thinking about how good it'd be if I had my own twin, you know. Just getting into it. And suddenly, I feel some moistness on my anal regions. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, you're turning into a nasty American slut. I can deal with this. And then I forget. I start to remember, shit. How is that possible for in the missionary position? No, uh... No! No poison! No Alright, no more poison. No more poison. Seriously, you guys no. were gonna say it. You were gonna say it. Just don't pause it anymore, alright? No more poison. Let's just go, let's watch it. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go. 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 let us go 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 let
You like fucking rainbows? But your jokes aren't jokes. You don't have it. You're just hit, uh, telling yeah, but so what? stories. Or, stuff. It's good. Oh, the no, story's good. I'm slow. It's my style. And you gotta build up and like just make them wait for the punchline. And sometimes when the punchline is weak, it's just like you don't even give a shit. You're just talking. Okay, but you know? I don't have to give away any comments if you want. I'm sorry. I can you skip the billiards thing. joke. Start with the B What's myself, the, the chicken, and the billiards and joke. It's just a lead into the fucking gay rainbow thing. Especially that they have to go through with you the whole nervousness, all the sweat, and all the rest of it, the kind of saggy middle patch. Mm. And yeah, it's soggy. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this yeah. audio on the credits.